surface plates. Operators and machinists use surface plate techniques mainly to lay out castings and raw stock and to measure parts. Inspectors use them for the same purpose, but mostly for making dimensional measurements. Many reference surfaces on component parts or assemblies are established by planes. The ideal plane for dimensional measurement should be perfectly flat, but since nothing is perfect, we must settle for the next best thing. This is a surface plate. Surface plates provide a true, flat reference surface for dimensional measurement. They are a simulated datum plane. The primary measurement made when using the surface plane is height. This is true because all measurements made on the surface plate are made from the plate up. There are different materials from which surface plates are made. Two of the main materials are cast iron and granite, which is a stone. Cast iron and granite surfaces have their good and bad points. For the purpose of this discussion, we will be talking about granite surfaces. The advantages of using granite surface plates include damaged areas do not produce raised material, they are highly resistant to wear. They will not rust. They are resistant to damage from chemicals that may be present on parts being inspected. And they are resistant to any significant temperature expansion. Some tips for the care of your surface plate is do not abuse the surface plate. Do not place unnecessary objects on the surface plate. The surface plate is not a storage area. Keep only what you are using at the time on the surface plate. Keep surface plate clean before and after use. And keep the surface plate covered when not in use. And do not set the objects on a surface plate when it's not in use. Surface plates, object placement and removal. When placing an object on a surface plate, bring the object to be placed on the surface to the edge of the plate and rotate the part up onto the plate, then slide it across the plate. This will prevent damage by placing heavy objects directly on the surface of the part and causing damage to the surface of the part. There are many accessories that assist us with making measurements on a surface plate. A few of these will be discussed. Some of them are angle plates, B blocks, matched V blocks, stack gauge blocks, planar gauges, and fixed parallels. Angle plate, sometimes known as a knee, renders a dimension that must be located by three perpendicular planes. This plane is an approved datum plane. V-blocks support round work for layout and inspection. A V-block is used to establish a datum axis. Match V-blocks can be used to contact multiple datum diameters. Then we have stacked gauge blocks. This is an accessory that used to reflect the actual distance from the plate up so that the comparisons can be made to the part being measured with a high degree of accuracy. Then we have fixed parallels. Fixed parallels are precision tools that are often used in production and inspection applications. They are rectangular in shape and come in various sizes. They are usually purchased in matched pairs and these parallels are made to be parallel on all sides to within a tooling tolerance. The main purpose of a fixed parallel is to extend a reference surface where it is necessary. This reference surface can be either on a machine that is producing the part or on the surface plate during the inspection of the part. The image to the left in this slide designates the primary three datum surface contact points. They are primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary is the supporting datum that must be contacted at the three highest points on the surface. This is usually accomplished by a flat datum locating surface such as surface plates. Secondary. This is the aligning datum that must be contacted at the two highest points on the surface. And tertiary. This is the stopping datum that must be contacted at the highest point on the surface. Surface plate tools and procedures. In this section we will be discussing surface plate gauges, such as a plane surface gauge and a surface gauge and indicator, and we will be discussing errors using surface gauges, such as loose clamps, too long indicator support rod, upright post not at 90 degrees for surface plate, 
and loose fan adjustment bolts. Plain surface gauge. In this slide, you see a picture of a plain surface gauge. Surface gauges are used in many measurement applications, but since they do not have direct reading scale, they are used in transfer or comparison measurements. In this image, you will see a spindle, scrabber lock nut, scrabber nut, scrabber, rocker, rocker adjusting screw, gauge pin, spindle, lock, nut, and base. In this slide you see the surface gauge is transferring a dimension established by a stack of gauge blocks to the part in order to measure it. This measurement is simply a comparison of a known standard to the part. Notice here that the primary measurement made on the surface plate is height. In this slide we will discuss the steps on how to make a direct measurement. Remember this is a linear measurement. Here you have the surface plate as the starting point or surface datum, A. Next, rest the tip of the indicator on the surface plate and, using the fine adjustment knob, set zero on the indicator. Next, read the vernier scale on the height gate and write down the reading. A vernier scale is a small, movable, graduated scale used for measuring a fractional part of one of the divisions of a fixed scale. Next, raise the indicator and rest the tab surface. Again, using the fine adjustment knob, set it again on the indicator. Then take a second reading on the vernier scale and write it down. The actual dimension of the part is the difference between the highest and lowest readings taken. Surface plate hand tool errors. There are several errors that can be made when using hand tools, such as the hand tool can be miscalibrated, it can be dirty, or it can be worn. Also, a tool can be held for an extensive period of time, causing the tool to read incorrectly. And there can be burrs on the tools. Another problem that causes hand tool measurement errors is improper training, which can lead to the tool being misread, or read at a wrong angle. There can be incorrect manipulation of the tool, and also there can be a tool that is out of round. Surface plate measurement errors. Next will be listed some errors that can happen when using a surface plate. For example, gauge blocks that are not rung together or not in proper size. Clamps that are not tight enough to avoid part movement. Excessive wear in high use areas. Vibration from the workbench. Parallelism where a workpiece is not parallel. The surface of the plate is not clean. Support rod length has a cantilevered effect. And there's tip wear, where a flat tip does not provide proper reading. And then there's errors with reading, the scale, and parallax errors, where reading is scale from an angle other than 90 degrees.